Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of William Deason. And if you already um, see the caption, you know already what we'll be talking about in this video. Um, first of all, I have here as a reference my Nokia Lumia icon. So I'm going to take it as a reference for um, editing the launcher, the way that it looks the same as my Windows Mobile 10 device uh, so we can compare one each other and as well to see how we looks each other. I know that anyone who is a fan of Windows Phone, it was a fan for two reasons. The first reason it was the software, of course, the Lumia line, the Nokia Lumia line, beautiful, excellence, pristine designs, polycarbonate and everything. This was my main phone for five years. I loved it since I have it. And this is not the original one. It was destroyed already, very all of my hand, uh, even with this uh, broken screen and everything. And I just keep it. So this one I purchased because of the nostalgia of my same device, same color. And the other things that we became finding was the user interface that look which is, is amazing but today if you're on Android you're gonna enjoy it as you used to do when you had your Windows phone so here I have my Samsung Galaxy S10e as a reference and let's go right in so this is the launcher the name of the launcher is launcher 10 you can get it directly from the Play Store. Let me show you. Launcher 10. This is the Launcher 10. You see that it says update, but I haven't updated because I get a, a mod version that is totally premium and you don't have to pay for premium. Uh, you don't have to pay for premium options, uh, which give you a lot of uh, a lot of room for customizations uh, but if you are those who like to support the developer I encourage you to pay for a subscription they have a subscription model that I am not agree with with any apps that doesn't offer great value that they offer a subscription plan to keep charging you so I am not buying with that so I don't I don't take that so sorry developer if you're watching this video but Start with that bullshit of um, subscription that don't add what we really want. If we can purchase the app, well, we just purchase and we use it. But you don't, you don't give that option. So because of that, I get the app from somewhere, somewhere, somewhere else. And after you get it, then you have to do a little bit of workshop uh, in order to get this look. This is my look. So I mean, you can do whatever you want for yourself but this is mine because when I used to use Windows Phone this is the a screen that I used to have this is the, the start menu that I used to have and now I, 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 I am using this one so this is the one that I'm using now because it's actually resembled the same that I used to use so it reminds me that I, I wanted to do it simple so um, so you get it First of all, you can click on any empty space and it's gonna give you uh, these options. Uh, wallpapers, the wallpaper that I have is a black wallpaper, so that way I can get the same look that it, my Windows Phone has. So you can put whatever wallpaper you want to, but the one that I have actually is a black one, so that resembles my actually Windows Phone. Um, the other option is that you can add Android widgets, I am now using it because the idea is to use Windows Phone, so Windows Phone do not have widgets. So I am now using this option and this option is the launcher preference. So here you can edit everything from general um, you can change the screen rotation, system bars, you can change the language with the icons. You can add your own icons, you can um, add the icons that the app already have. The theme and colors, um, you can change the transparency of the tiles. 
uh, you can select a specific tiles for a specific color for the tiles etc and the star screen you can change the columns and everything this phone has four or five and something inches so it's not a big phone so in this case that uh, you have the the regular three um three columns because this resumes my small screen nokia lumia but if you have a bigger screen i do recommend you to add um, more more life more tiles so that way it's going to look better uh, on the screen then you can customize all apps animations this is here they have a premium subscription they have a subscription here like i mentioned i'm gonna pay a subscription for that and then you can do backups and restores if you already have a um sorry if you already have a customization that you like and you want to do it in another form etc okay and the good thing about these that i like is that for example in my samsung i can use gestures some phones you change the launcher and that automatically the gestures stop walking uh, for example i'm talking about xiaomi phones um, so if you gonna use plan to install this launcher in, in a Xiaomi phone, um, be aware that the gesture is not going to work. So it's going to be buttons, on screen buttons that it's going to be working that gesture. But in this Samsung, gestures works perfectly well, so I'm glad that they do. And if you want to install this, it's a little bit tricky because in order for you to set the launcher you have to go to settings, you have to go to apps, you have to search for the launcher, select the launcher and go directly to let me see. Okay, set as default. Then when you click set as default. Um, you can set this as a launcher and you go, well, well we work it directly. Uh, you can clear the files and you go, we'll be, we'll be back at, at your original launcher. Okay, let me go out from here. Okay, so now to get, for example, let's start with the calendar tile in order to get this. Let me, let me show you. You just click and it gives you the option. This is the app option, but this is the launcher option. So you can click on edit. It's going to give you a preview of the launcher, of the tile. And then here where they say width and height, you can change your, uh, you can put bigger, you can put it smaller. So in this case, you can put it the size you want. So in this case, I want to keep the size that I have. So you can model that. In this case, label, as the name says, you can put the name. I take it off and because I want it to be resembled as my original Windows phone. So in this case, as you can see, it doesn't have any name here. So it doesn't have any name here, here, because I want it to be uh, the same, actually. So this one, the label color, you can change the color of the label of the app if it already has. The icon, you can change the icon. This is the options, the suggestion that they give you and you can browse all icons. This is the apps, the launcher icons that the apps already have, but you can install your own icon pack and you can use it. Then you can add shadow, you can remove frame of the icon and you can keep only the edges, etc. You also can change the tint in this case, I put no tint because I didn't want it to appear on it. You can change the size. I put it on the small because it resembles better and it looks exactly like this. And also you can change the background. The first option of the background that you have here is that the colors that the launcher takes from the original icon. So in this case, this icon has a blue green uh, color and it give is giving me the icon primary color icon secondary color the app thing 
etc. So in this case, this, this is the colors that suggest the icon of the original app. And then we have the Windows colors uh, right here. And then you can add your own color. You can add transparency and you can add lifestyles. And in this case, I use the default settings and I add the calendar lifestyle, which is this one. So it resembles the same as my Windows phone. So you just click and apply and it applies directly. So the pain on the ass about this thing is that you have to do it manually for each app. It's not like Windows Phone that you go directly to settings, themes, and you just change it and the whole system change. In this case here, you have to do it manually, uh, icon by icon, but you know, no pain, no gain. And at the end, you're gonna have the Windows Phone experience on your, on your device. And you, you can make it look as you want, as you like. Um, you can see that the change that you apply on the tile on the on the main on the star menu, on the star screen, it gonna apply on the app list as well. Or if you add, if you wants to do it here, because I did the same, even I don't have it uh, pinned in the home screen, I did it here because I wanted it to look good everywhere. So if I decided to add it, it's going to have the same uh, design that I did here, which is a good thing. So this is the actual launcher. I just explained it. If you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section. If you want to get the this version, not the one, and you don't want to pay for the subscription option that, like I said, I don't like. So you can use this app. I don't know if you know it, but if you don't, go directly to my Telegram channel. I'm gonna leave the uh, link down below. So you can go directly and there I go and explain how to use this app, where, where to get it, how to use it. So because I don't like to post that type of things here because it can go down or, you know, the some ones that we don't like can see it and, you know, make it and work it anymore. Um, so I don't like to do the type of videos here in YouTube. So you can go directly to my Telegram channel and you can check it there. So this is all for this video. I hope you enjoy it and make your Android phone look like Windows, like the old days, like our all Windows phones, devices, with the benefits of all the apps. Yep, this is all. Take care.